Hello and welcome to Channel 781 Headlines. Last Wednesday, May 3rd, was the first day potential candidates for this year's Waltham election could pull papers and start collecting signatures to get on the ballot. So far, 14 incumbents and 10 challengers have pulled papers. The challengers include two people who have been part of our Channel 781 news team. Emily Superia is running for city council at large, and Eamon Dawes is running in Ward 9 for the seat currently held by Jonathan Paz, who's running for mayor. It looks like Eamon will be running against a very established candidate, Robert Logan, who held that seat for 30 years before past. Dwayne Champagne, a possible third candidate for mayor, also pilled papers. Bill Hanley, who is currently a member of the Board of Health, plans to run in Ward 3, where he's run in the past. A first-time candidate named Robert Davis plans to challenge Councillor Cates in Ward 7. And there are three first-time candidates, in addition to Emily Vine, for at-large seats, Emma Tsiumis, Tim King, and Susan Rosenfeld. So far, it looks like six of the ward councillors and the school committee could be running unopposed, but that could still change. The deadline for gathering signatures is June 30th, so there's still time for new candidates to jump into the race. We'll discuss that more on our debrief show. At this week's city council meeting, housing advocates showed up for the third meeting in a row, hoping to spur action and possibly speak on a tenant rights notification ordinance. Earlier this year, Councillor Paz submitted a resolution regarding housing issues, which led to discussions in committee of an ordinance that would require landlords to give tenants in danger of eviction information about their rights. In this meeting, Paz moved to schedule a hearing to discuss the ordinance, but Councillors Harris and McMenamin told him he was going about it the wrong way and disrespecting the rules of the council. After about an hour of contentious discussion, the council did not schedule a hearing and instead voted to file Paz's resolution. We'll discuss that more on our debrief show. At last week's meeting of the Committee of the Whole, they discussed Councillor Durkee's resolution regarding students living in single family neighborhoods. The council is working with the city law department on an ordinance to address homeowners concerns, but a draft has not been made public. So it's not clear what the ordinance will say. In this meeting, the city solicitor said his office recently sent letters to landlords of 29 houses they consider to be problem houses, most of which are occupied by students. That news sparked concern at Brandeis where a recent housing lottery left many students without the option to live on campus this fall. We'll discuss that more on our debrief show as well. A new citizen group called Waltham Inclusive Neighborhoods has come together to address this and other housing policy issues in Waltham. If you're interested in learning more about that, they'll be holding an event this coming Wednesday, May 24th at 6.30 p.m. at the Mighty Squirrel Brewery. Two Waltham schools now officially have new principals. WCAC reports that Superintendent Brian Reagan has named Scott Lippman as principal of McDevitt Middle School and Daryl Braggs as principal of Waltham High School. Both were already serving as interim principals, but now they are permanent. Dr. Reagan also announced a meeting to discuss the future of the dual language school. He said the system is considering moving the dual language school to the current site of the high school once the new high school is finished. Another option is to move it to McDevitt's current site and then move McDevitt to the former high school site. That meeting will take place this coming Tuesday, May 16th at 6 p.m. at McDevitt. In community events, Waltham's famous Steampunk Festival happens this Saturday, the 13th on the Common. Waltham Recreation Department Spring Fest will take place on the 20th at noon at Prospect Hill Park. The critical mass bike ride for May will take place May 27th at 1 p.m. starting at City Hall. Waltham Pride takes place on the Common Saturday, June 3rd, 11 a.m. and they still need volunteers, so please get in touch if you'd like to help out. Waltham River Fest will take place June 16th through June 17th. The next thing we post will be our debrief show. We have a lot to talk about from those recent meetings. So stay tuned. Thanks a lot.